feature is that uh, we run all the steps of the processing. So we don't buy milk from other farms. Uh, whereas uh, um, normally uh, farm genre, genre dairy are cooperatives, so a little bit uh, uh, bigger, bigger dairies compared to, to us. Um, they, of course, they have different farmers selling the milk to the cooperative. So um, this is, I say this because it's important for uh, the quality, the, the type of quality we have. So, um, as a, I hope I, I will let you understand that this is a very uh, artisanal product. So, uh, the quality of the milk pass, uh, so first of all, the quality of the food received by cows convert into good quality milk and then into uh, quality cheese. So, uh, it's a, a chain not to be uh, interrupted to have the final great uh, result of the, together with time because the important thing for this uh, kind of product is uh, to be patient, to wait and wait, give time, just the time, give the extra value to this uh, um, in terms of taste and uh, to this cheese. So uh, Parmigiano Reggiano cheese is a protected origin denomination cheese that means that uh, there is a strong uh, uh, connection between uh, uh, some products and a, a, a very restricted area. For the Parmigiano Reggiano, this origin area consists of five provinces. Modena, where we are, Reggio Emilia, Parma, a small part of Bologna province, and a small part of Mantua. So all the steps of the processing must be inside this area. So, of course, uh, how big is the, 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 the region, little spots, little areas here? They can't be out, made outside anywhere. Yes, and, so how, and the cows can't come from the, outside yes. the area. No, yes. How, how, how uh, many kilometers uh, across it? Basically, it's the Emilia region, so it's a very small. Uh, small. Very small. Italy is small compared to other bigger countries. But what's important is that uh, to to let, I, I would like to be, let you understand that uh, the Parmigiano Reggiano, I mean the original one, is uh, of course an Italian product, but is not made in uh, Milan or Florence uh, or Rome, but just in this uh, area. Because uh, uh, originally in this area uh, was born uh, the culture and, uh, and there is of course uh, a strong influence of the environment, ecosystem. The same happened for other protected region denomination uh, products like balsamic vinegar, parma ham, or uh, other kind of. Uh, and these uh, products are, uh, uh, they have a kind of uh, protection, a kind of uh, copyright, uh, but not just, it's not a matter of brand. That's because uh, the population, the culture of uh, um, an area. Uh, they are so so connected with the uh, with the product. Uh, for the Parmigiano Reggiano, uh, there is a, a written uh, a written proof of the existence of this product in this area, tracing back to the Middle Age. So it's very very ancient uh, origin. So um, mm, something about us. So uh, we are, uh, as I told you, a small. Uh, dairy and in fact we produce uh, um, about uh, uh, eight wheels every day whereas uh, average uh, the production is uh, around uh, 20 20 wheels every day but there are also some uh, uh, dairies producing uh, 100 or more wheels every day so more industrial uh, factory um, we run we are present Average, we milk about 150 cows, and uh, we uh, our crops uh, uh, we have about uh, 70 hectares of land. Basically, we, um, we get uh, alpha alpha feed. Uh, alpha feed is a basic uh, diet, consists of the, the, the basic ingredient for uh, the cows uh, diet, and uh, we have. Uh, uh, a kind of uh, book from uh, we all the, um, 
the producer are members of a, a consortium, the consortium of the Parmigiano Reggiano. And uh, the consortium, um, the, the, the goal of the consortium is not uh, selling the production of the single members, but uh, um, uh, the consortium received it from uh, our government, but also from European Union, the, uh, the goal to control to the respect of the, the rules, uh, so the, the quality control, uh, general uh, promotion, and we have a, a kind of book telling us uh, um, not only how to make the cheese, but also what feeding cows, because as I told you, is a really uh, an important uh, uh, factor. In particular, we, can, we cannot use any silo food for uh, feeding cows. Silo food are, for instance, silo corn, silo hay. So food that have maintain some, uh, some uh, high content of uh, water, moisture. So they can cause uh, late fermentation into cheese. Uh, because the Parmigiano Reggiano is a, a completely natural cheese, so it's not possible to add any uh, anti-fermentatives or other materials during the making, the processing. So we have to to start uh, um, to, to go back and to start from the very um, beginning, start so to avoid the chance of having this uh, not uh, uh, desired quality of the milk. Basically, uh, we use uh, um, so it's possible to use uh, or just uh, cut grass, fresh grass, or hay. We prefer to use hay because uh, hay is available all year round, not the same for the grass. Um, together with, uh, of course, the, the hay or alfalfa is the, the, the basic, uh, basic in ingredient for the diet, but other foods are not allowed in the Parmigiano Reggiano. Very Roma, poor raw, raw materials or other things not uh, uh, desired. Uh, we have two breeds, uh, brown Swiss cows and Olsen cows. Also the breeds can affect uh, the quality of the milk. Different breeds give a different uh, type of, of milk in terms of composition, fat, proteins and so on. Um, and then, uh, okay, I think, uh, if you have, please, if you have any kind of question or you don't understand my Bad English, please ask us. <laughs> 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 <laughs>